guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for today's video. It's going to be a new fashion haul video and I know I did haul week a couple of weeks ago but that's just not enough for me. Shopaholic over here could not resist even more of the autumnal bits on the high street. So I've got bits from a few different retailers to share with you in today's haul. I've got some Topshop pieces, River Island, those are the usuals and then I've also got some bits from New Look. I saw a lot of bloggers wearing New Look during fashion week and it really inspired me to check their new bits and bobs out. I've got some lovely pieces from there very affordable too and then also some bits from accessorize I was absolutely blown away by the accessories and accessorize and then also a really cute outfit from mango so I'm gonna whiz straight into it because as you can imagine there's quite a lot of pieces and to save time I'm also going to just be inserting overlays of me trying the pieces on instead of talking through them so I hope you like this format and if you guys are new to my channel please do hit the subscribe button down here hit that little notification bell so that you are notified when I upload new videos because I have got so many amazing lovely videos coming your way ranging from a video all about autumn dupes high street pieces that look a lot more high-end than their price tag I've got a jumper dress lookbook coming your way and lots more hauls and autumn styling videos so don't forget to hit subscribe for lots more fashion and if you like this style of video please give it a thumbs up to let me know that you like it and there'll be lots more coming your way so let's get into the haul so this is a pretty big delivery from Topshop I went to the Topshop show during London fashion week and it was probably the best show that I've ever been to it was incredible I will leave my fashion week vlog up on the screen and also down in the description box but that really inspired me to check out their new collection because the runway was shoppable right away which is just insane I actually didn't pick up any bits from the catwalk yet um, but I definitely will be but let me show you what I got from um, my latest online order all right, so first up we have a pair of shoes. Now I saw these and I immediately thought they'd be such a great way of dressing up a pair of jeans. Firstly, I love the fact that they're closed toe. I think that makes them a lot more versatile this time of year, autumn, winter, but also with jumper dresses, they're just going to be a really lovely ladylike way of really making that outfit a little bit more smart. Color-wise, it's quite unusual for me. It's like a greeny brown and it's a suede material. The heel I really like, I think it's going to be very comfortable for a long day of walking around because it is this block heel style and it does have a rubber sole which just I find generally makes shoes a lot more comfortable. Also you've got an ankle strap so if you do want to have that very flattering style of having quite a lot of foot showing but you don't want your foot to be falling out then an ankle strap is a really good design detail. So very very happy with those. These were £49. So they're the first thing that I picked up from Topshop. I've also just realized that you can see in the mirror that I'm wearing tracky bottoms. I thought because I cropped the camera here you wouldn't be able to tell, but that's what us YouTubers do. We wear cozy on the bottom and nice on the top. Speaking of which, um, this one I was going to talk about when I talk through the new look bits. This is from New Look. I think it was about £27 and I am in love with it. It's a typical cozy chunky knit, but then you've also got these kind of um, frill just basically wool hanging down from it and then you've got this cable knit detail love it with a simple gold necklace I've already worn this loads both in the house and styled it out the house for like meetings and things like that too big fan of this one the only thing is that the sleeves are a little bit long I do sometimes quite like having the sleeves going over my hands but equally it's nice to roll them back too so yes that's this jumper before I forget to tell you about it everything of course that I mentioned in this haul will be linked down below so if you did want to check anything out for further details or shop them yourself then there'll be links down in the description box so just click show more for more details so this is a very different color for me it is pretty much a black dress but it has got these beautiful pink flowers on it it's again very much like a victoriana style but it's the length of this dress that i absolutely love this will come to just above my ankles so you'll still be able to see the footwear but it's going to be quite warm you could probably wear like thermal tights underneath this and definitely be able to get away with it this time of year i absolutely love wearing long dresses I've been wearing jumper dresses so so much but this one I thought was a little bit more smart and if I've been wearing too many jumper dresses I can switch this one in. You've got a beautiful ruffle detail on the collar, it's got slight metallic flex to it which just gives it a really lovely detail and then a little bit of embroidery and detail around the sleeves too. It does seem to have a little bit of a pull-in at the waist and then you've got this ribbon going around the waist as well to make it even more feminine and almost like a bib style across here. So just so many design details but because the fabric is quite busy, they do blend in so it's not too wild. I've been on the hunt for a corduroy skirt for quite some time since seeing my style icon Julia Engel from Gal Meets Glam. She's an American blogger. She wore a pink one. Um, it was actually a regram from one of her 
outfits last year but anyway since I saw that photo I've needed to have a corduroy skirt and I picked this one up from Topshop it's a burgundy almost red wine color I think I actually had something very similar to this last year with this pool detail in fact it was a pair of culottes that had this ring detail this ring we're seeing in so many things at the moment you might remember my Topshop ankle boots that have this detail as well so yeah it's a really lovely design detail you've got these two little pockets it's quite short so it could be a nice one to wear with tights or you can make it more casual even wearing with something like this a cozy knit with over knee boots as well I think this will be really gorgeous 34 pounds not too expensive and I went for the size 6 in this one so this piece here was my main reason for even making my Topshop order in the first place. I mentioned in my video that was all about Autumn Winter 17 trends, again I'll leave it linked on the screen. Definitely check that video out, it's gone down really well, I'm very pleased with the amount of views that one's had, so you guys obviously liked it too. But yeah, in that video I mentioned that cosy teddy bear style coats are going to be a huge trend this autumn and I have been looking out for one that's firstly not ridiculous price, i.e. not over £100 because it's definitely probably only going to be this year that they're hugely popular but also one that I just absolutely love and I spotted this one on Topshop they've also got a pink one but I thought that beige would be a little bit more versatile this was £89 I think it's just absolutely perfect love these huge pockets love the thickness of the material it has a lining as well so it's not going to be itchy on the skin you can pull this collar up and wear it snugly around your neck so when it does get really chilly in winter this is going to be such a cosy one so again this is going to be another piece you're going to be seeing all over my Instagram um, and will probably sell out so I wouldn't recommend hanging around on this one because by the time November comes and the temperatures drop they won't be in stores anymore and I think you may regret it if you don't pick it up so highly recommend grabbing one of these now if you can imagine yourself wanting to buy into this trend later in the year. Finally from Topshop this is a piece that I'm not too sure on so definitely let me know in the comments whether you think I should keep this one or not. It's a big bucket bag and it's in this beautiful brownie blush pink colour which I absolutely adore. It's got this rose gold ring on it again we're seeing this ring everywhere um, and then inside oh I didn't realise it actually opens by the fabric the leather going over the ring. Inside you've got the strap, but obviously this has still got the packaging on it, £34, and then you have got a separate canvas bag inside if you want to separate out your bits and bobs. I find this time of year I often want to have lots of extra things with me, if it gets colder I like to bung a scarf, gloves, even like earmuffs in my bag, so this size of bag is very very practical. But the reason I'm not too sure about it is because I do also have my Topshop teddy bear fur bag which I've been wearing so much, it's absolutely ginormous and it's so cosy, surprisingly versatile, and every time I take it out I get loads of compliments on it. I'll insert again an overlay of that bag and leave it linked down below um, but yeah I'm not sure if I need this because I do have that furry one but it's totally different in style so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Okie dokie next up is River Island they are having an amazing season at the moment and I am shopping there far more than I should do but let me show you the bits and bobs that I picked up in this latest haul. There's actually not too many so I should be able to whiz through this. First of all I picked up these shoes. Now one of you guys actually alerted me to these because I tweeted out saying that a lot of you were asking for dupes of my Gucci mules which are also leopard print and one of you actually found these and let me know about them so I had to pick them up because yes I do have the Gucci ones but I want to wear the style a lot more frequently and I don't want to wear my Gucci ones out if that makes sense so I picked up these they were um, 32 pounds so I'm really really happy with how affordable they were they're not the kind of pony skin like the Gucci ones are but they are almost like a velvet material really really beautiful and soft but then this buckle really does look very similar to the Gucci horse fit buckle so very good dupes I always think River Island shoes while they're affordable they do look really high quality because they have some really nice design details these ones in particular have this gold bit at the end of the heel which you will just be able to see when you're wearing them and then little gold studs here generally just really well made shoes and again a nice grippy rubber sole which the Gucci ones actually don't have they're quite slip slidey so that's the first piece that I picked up from River Island the second thing is another handbag this one I thought was a really good shape and I've been looking for a more boxy style handbag for quite some time and this one I thought would just go really well with my wardrobe it's a very versatile colour looks actually really great with cream so maybe this could be a nice little combination but this one again I thought was very much designer inspired this buckle reminds me of I want to say Sophie Holm but I'm not sure if I might have made that up but that's probably the designer but also the Prada box bags and the Louis Vuitton box bags definitely have this kind of vibe about them should be a really good size for fitting my everyday essentials and I like the fact that it's got this little touch of this python style leather here 
and then you've got an over shoulder strap which like a lot of designer bags do it has a leather section in the middle so you don't actually get chain marks on your skin if you do have a bag that's slightly too heavy so it's really nice you can wear this across the body leaving you hands free and yeah I thought it was a really nice bag to add to my autumn collection so this is actually not for me I actually already have this dress and Two of my friends have spotted it on me and asked me to buy it for them as well when I next put in a River Island order. So I have done. This is the jumper dress. You may have seen it on my Instagram stories. It had so many questions, but I absolutely am obsessed with it. This material is so soft. It's just the most cozy thing in the world on your skin. And then it has slightly ballooning sleeves, but they don't look too OTT balloon style. They just are quite voluminous. And then they go into a tight cuff at the bottom. It's high neck, which means you can get away with wearing a thermal underneath, really warm and cozy, and then a really lovely length too. But what I also love about this is the color, surprise, surprise. It's just my dream pink color, very wearable, very flattering on all skin tones. And this dress looks fabulous with over knee boots as well. So for 40 pounds, I think this is a really fab piece that I know I'm going to wear tons over the autumn winter months I know my friends will I'm sure you guys will I just need to make sure that we have a whatsapp group so we don't all turn up wearing it on the same day and then lastly and this is a little bit of a wild card from River Island I picked up some baby pink corduroy trousers now I'm not sure what these are going to look like they could be very unflattering and scary but I'm hoping because they're nice and high-waisted they should be a little bit more flattering I don't know where this obsession with corduroy has come from I'm definitely blaming Julia for that um, but I decided that I needed to try these out they look like a really nice fit corduroy is so warm if you're going on any like winter trips if you're going skiing these would be a really good thing to take with you but I just really was intrigued and wanted to try them out so you guys will be seeing what they look like on now I'm praying that they look good but let me know your opinions in the comments below so that's everything that I got from River Island and next I'm going to whiz through a few of the pieces that I got from Accessorize. I went to the Oxford Street store yesterday, the really big one down more towards Tottenham Court Road, that one's my favourite, and I spotted these two bags which I thought were really good dupes. Now I know I had already ordered some bags that you guys have just seen so let me know which of the bags in this video you think I should keep but these are the bags that I got from Accessorize. I have been looking for more Chloe dupes recently and totally fell in love with these to. Obviously this one is slightly less of a dupe. In fact, I really like that they're not trying to majorly copy them, but they just have very much inspired design details. If you've seen the new Chloe bag, I don't know what it's called, but it's almost like a tambourine shape. It's round and it's got like a golden round handle coming off it. That just tells me that round bags are going to be huge this season. If Chloe are doing it, then sooner or later, everyone else is going to be doing it. So I thought I'd hop in on that trend quite soon and invest in this little one here. I say invest, it was 25 pounds. I'm very, very impressed with that. It's got a little pocket in the back here, good for oyster cards or anything along those lines. It's even got a pocket on the front and it has this little kind of money pouch section on the side here too. Inside, just one compartment with a little zippy envelope section there for any valuables, and then it does have a crossbody strap too, which when worn over the body looks like this. I might actually take this off, it does come off with a little clip, but yeah, I thought this was a really nice way of adding that Chloe vibe to your outfit at a fraction of the price. Again, I can tell this is going to be so popular when I wear it on Instagram, so definitely invest now because accessorized don't tend to make thousands and thousands of every piece. Um, if it is on the accessorized website, again, and you'll find a link to it down below. In Accessorize, I also picked up this bag. Now you can't actually use this as a handle like you can the Chloe bag, um, but I thought again, very similar vibes. I really like the studs around here, definitely gives it more of a saddle bag look. If you don't even care about dupes or bags that look like designer ones, these two are still really nice bags, which is what I absolutely love about them. But we do know that they are very much inspired by those Chloe bags. Inside, this one is really spacious. I love the layout. You've got this little pocket on the front here, big wide section, and then again a zippy section and a shoulder strap too. This one was £25 as well. I think this is a really great versatile bag for £25. And I also picked up the brown version, which I'm actually saving for a friend, but I wanted to show you both colour options. This one I decided to keep for myself because I've been getting so many questions for dupes of my Chloe Narberg, which is in that beautiful wine burgundy colour. So I thought this was the best 
option available on the high street. And then we have some accessories from Accessorize. Now this entire trip to Accessorize was inspired after meeting Lila Parsons who is an actress and TV presenter etc etc. I met her at a La Mer foundation launch and she was wearing the most beautiful jewellery. I asked her where it was from expecting it to be some really expensive designer but she said it was all from Accessorize. So I went into the store immediately after having that conversation with her and picked up a few of the pieces she was wearing and a few others as well. Once again, they have some really nice dupes for brands such as Monica Vinader. I'll show you close-ups of them as we go through. But also from their Z or Z for accessorise, just some really stunning, very simple, delicate pieces. This is the first ring that I got. This looks really nice, worn on the middle finger. I'm going to insert close-ups of a bracelet that I also got with a beautiful diamante or cubic zirconia encrusted um, bar around it. Again, very Monica Vinada vibes. I would show you them while talking, but they're currently tangled together with a necklace at the moment. The necklace, again, it's so sparkly, so delicate. It looks far more expensive than it was. And it also reminds me of my Astrid and Mew necklaces with this hanging bar, just a really lovely style. It's especially if you're going to wear v-necks this winter, it's really nice to have that additional design detail. As well as those two, I picked up this necklace. This is again Z for Accessorize and it has got a Labradorite gem or stone in the bottom there, which again reminds me of Monica Vinada um, and then Cubic Zirconia, which look like little diamonds around the outside. This one is just beautiful rose gold chain as well, very delicate, very feminine. I'm saving the best till last by the way, so just keep on watching this little ring haul. Um, this one, Z for Accessorize Cubic Zirconia, has a very delicate little pink gem or stone in the middle there. That one I thought would be really great for layering. This is the matching ring for the Labradorite. I have to be careful I'm saying that properly, I just want to talk about Labradors. Um, but yeah, this is the matching ring to the necklace I showed you with that beautiful greeny stone and rose plated band. And finally, this is the one that I'm most excited about. It is again Z for Accessorize Rose Gold Plated Cubic Zirconia. And how much does this look like the Monica Vinader Reva ring? I wear my Reva ring 90% of the time. It's like my everyday piece. And this one was only 15 pounds. The Monica Vinader obviously has diamonds in there. I adore it. It's a beautiful investment piece. And I have no regrets buying that one because I wear it so much. But this one is 15 pounds. So if you love the Monica Vinader, you want that look, but you don't want to spend that amount, then this one is just absolutely stunning and so, so similar. Okay, so last but not least, I'm going to go through a few pieces that I picked up from New Look. These are really fabulous, affordable pieces. I don't shop from New Look as often as I should, but whenever I look in there, I'm always blown away by how many beautiful pieces they've got. Obviously, I've already told you about this jumper, which I'm obsessed with and it's just so cozy and warm and snuggly but I also got some lovely other bits and bobs. I mentioned this briefly earlier. Picked this up because I just love the colour. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this fits. In fact if it doesn't fit me perfectly I might even alter it a little bit just so it fits along the waist really really perfectly. Got a zip closure at the back and then it slightly flares out at the bottom. It's got a hem that's been cut at an angle so it should have a beautiful floaty movement to it which with ankle boots when you're strutting along I think will just look absolutely gorgeous. Love the sheen on this too. This is another piece that one of you guys let me know about. I mentioned in, oh I can't remember what video it was one of the videos in haul week but I showed you a grey suede river island jacket, a suede jacket but it was £120 and one of you very kindly let me know in the comments that there was a dupe in New Look so of course I had to check it out, I hadn't taken the label out the river island one yet so I've taken that one back and replaced it with this one. So this is not suede, it's that really soft material, it's not even trying to be suede but it definitely has the exact same style about it, it's got an asymmetric zip going across there, it's got the buckle, silver detailing, and it's that beautiful, just really soft, snuggly material. The best thing about this, however, was the price. This was £39.99, so an absolute fraction of the price of the River Island Faux Suede, but you get the exact same look. Another Faux Suede piece is this jacket. This one I wanted to wear during Fashion Week, but actually it was too warm, so I never did. But the colour of this, I think, is beautiful. It's like this very warm camel shade, straight down silhouette, but then you do have this waist belt. Because of the material, which is almost like a velvety faux suede. It's actually very slippery, so you have to tie this in a knot in order for it to not keep coming undone, but that's no big deal. Fairly lightweight, so while it's still quite 
muggy, not really cold outside. It's a really nice weight for that kind of temperature. And again, this was $44.99, but looks a whole lot more expensive. It's a really elegant length. It's very fashion blogger vibe. So if you wanna rock those very stylish, almost fashion editor kind of look, then I think this is a really good one for that. And I'll be styling this up a lot with jumper dresses, even jeans and a jumper, midi skirts, maxi skirts. Yeah, very, very versatile piece. Just whizzing through these last bits, I picked up two faux leather skirts. I'm only gonna keep one. I think I'm going to keep this one. It's again that beautiful oxblood deep wine color. And then I also picked up this one. On the website, I thought it was more of a burnt orange shade, a little bit like this skirt, but it's a little bit too tomato red for my liking. They were $19.99, so I thought just a fabulous way of buying into this trend but without spending too much money because I don't wear short skirts that often but sometimes I just want to get my legs out with high over knee boots I thought that would look absolutely beautiful just by being obsessed with this beautiful burnt orange colour I decided to pick up this blouse this was um, $22.99 so really nice and affordable I thought with white jeans or even the trousers that I'm going to show you in a second from Mango this would look beautiful again that Victoriana style with the ruffle around the collar got a lace detail and then a bib style here loads of autumn trends and then a slight fluting to the sleeves so lots of trend points from this affordable piece from New Look and then this one I picked up almost as a dupe to my recent Karen Millen blouse this one would be a really lovely workwear piece it's quite sheer so you might need to put um, a little vest top underneath but a pink blouse with basically any kind of bottoms whether that's a skirt high-waisted skirt again white trousers or jeans I thought the color of this one was absolutely beautiful and again the best thing about it what a surprise this was $12.99 I can't, can't quite believe it. And then finally from New Look, I'd been looking for a faux fur gilet for quite a while in this grey shade and this one is absolutely perfect. This was $29.99 and it's got a really nice effect to it. It's almost like, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's not just straight fur, it's got almost lines to it. Hopefully I'll be able to show you, or maybe you can see from there, but hopefully I can show you in the close up. This, I think, especially will go well over jumper dresses, whether that's a grey jumper dress or more of a camel colour. It's a nice way of just adding a little bit more warmth to the body without going full-on winter style with a coat. I am a huge fan of gilets, and for $29.99, you just can't go wrong with this colour. So I said that was it, but I forgot to show you the mango pieces. I only picked up two bits from mango. Um, I went in there looking for... I can't remember, actually. I can't remember what I went in for, but I saw this outfit on a mannequin and I thought it looked absolutely stunning. In case you couldn't tell, I'm kind of obsessed with this burnt orange colour at the moment and I think with white trousers it looks so stylish. So I picked up this combination. This was actually fairly expensive for Mango. It was £50 I think. Yeah, £49.99 because it is 100% silk. So when you think of the material, it's not that bad value wise and I'm definitely going to need to invest in a new steamer because I do not trust myself to iron silk. But yeah, I thought this was a beautiful colour with white trousers such as these. It'll look, oh, I'm attached. <laughs> It'll look absolutely beautiful. These are almost like a paper bag style at the top where they really cinch in at the waist. These are incredibly high-waisted and then they are slightly tailored and tapered down to a slightly more narrow bottom. Keep a lookout for me wearing this outfit with maybe some little heels, maybe those Topshop shoes that I showed you way at the beginning of this haul. And yeah, just a lovely autumn outfit that I'm excited to try. So there you have it, those are the new pieces that I picked up from the high street, so many bits that I absolutely adore and I'm very excited to wear and I really feel like I've got a fabulous base for my autumn wardrobe now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, leave me a comment with your favourite store for picking up autumn pieces if you got this far, I'd love to know what your favourite store is. If you're from the US or somewhere else, let me know what store you like to shop in in your country and I will definitely try and check it out if I can. But that's all from me, so thank you so much for watching and I I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.